I'm coming to you from my apartment now to show you the demo into how I make this mobile. It's somewhat of a mobile. It's similar to how I like to think about my works and having space and using a lot of different shapes and creating a magical air levitating feeling. So this was something that came together with a lot of things I already had in the studio. Um, what you're going to need for this project is wire. And so this is a thin gauged wire, super malleable. And so this is going to be the string that strings together the shapes. And you want to make sure it's really light. I used this really fun red wire that I already had in the studio. I really like to play with color in unusual moments. So this is something I have already used in my work. And then some thick gauge wire. You're going to need a lot more than this. So if you buy a pack of like steel wire, you're going to probably use that pack. So. I've already used my pack and this is just an example. It should be pretty thick and hard to bend. It's going to make your base very strong and sturdy. So make sure you grab something on the thicker side. You're also going to need scissors. A thumbtack and you're gonna need some colored cardstock or paper this is just stuff I already had in the studio I've already cut shapes into it um, I like to use different colored paper um, this is some paper I actually just painted on so it's just gonna be a little thick And the first thing you're going to do to make is to make the base. And so this is a base that I've already made. And I'm going to show you how I made it using a different wire. So when you have your piece of wire that's thick, it should be pretty long. Oops. And you're going to go about three fourths of the way and create a circle. And so you should have a good amount on one side and then another good amount on the other side. So just going to find somewhat middle to halfway to create a circle. And so I'm just going to make a circle about here. And you're going to just nestle the two into each other and create a circle. And once you pull the circle through to create another crossbar on the bottom, just going to loop it around, wrap it in any way. Just make sure it's fastened and has that thick wire on the bottom. And so now you're going to wrap and pull through the other side. And so it should already be there if you need to pull it and fasten it together. This is a great time for you to use your pliers. Um, you'll probably have some excess on this side. And so you're just going to snip the excess on that side 
and then use the pliers to clamp everything together. And so now you have the structure that's the base. And this is going to be, you're going to play around with it until it feels like it's somewhat flat and also dimensional so that the curve helps your piece to stay straight. And so I'm just actually going to curve it upwards a little bit and then just can clasp this again. And you're gonna pull your longer piece up and that's gonna be the stem. So give it a little bit of a hook. And so the hook needs to have a bigger part at the top that faces downwards and then a piece of the back where you're gonna slip on your shapes. And so making it face downward makes it so that the shapes of course don't fall out through the back and you want to have it as tall as you can in the beginning because your pieces are going to feel like a lot of weight and pull and could pull it down so making sure you have enough space to work with is really important and so next you're going to cut a few shapes I've already cut my shapes and so I like to work with organic shapes, you can make anything. You can write letters. It's totally up to you what you cut. You can literally draw with scissors. So just make a drawing, cut that shape, and use that. Okay, so once you have your shapes, you take the shape and just puncture two holes very close nearby each other. And try to do it in the center of the shape. And this is going to be the hole from which you thread the wire through. And so you take your thinner wire. And for your first piece, you want to make something that's actually pretty long or wide. And so it's good to have a good amount of the longer pieces, because if you want the piece to go in a few dimensions, it's good to have something wide so that it can go far out and the pieces can hang from it. And so you just thread the front from the back to the front and create a little tie. You also want to leave a bit of space right at the top of the shape so that you can thread other shapes through. And so as you keep threading and putting on more and more shapes, you'll have something to use as the start. Once you have your shapes on the very start, you're going to take your base and just put it across into that hook. And then now you have sort of beginning to a piece. And as you start to make more and more shapes, it's good to have a few in many different directions. And you're going to just create a little hook and thread it. 
And because you're working with the thin wire, you can just keep moving it and bending it until you have something that you are interested in. And also, as you add more shapes, the balance is going to keep changing. So you can see And you can hang shapes from any hook. And so just keep playing around until you like the composition. And don't forget, you can always just move things so that you can open it up even more. And so here you are with a somewhat mobile inspired paper piece. It's super fun, very planetary, and you can write and do and draw whatever you want. And so I'm so happy to be able to share this lesson with the Wide Rainbow community. Thank you so much for checking it out.